Hi, I would like to share with you some uh, of the versatility with the curtain wall tool. I want to make an under roof. I don't know the proper word in English, but you get what it's about when you see it. Um, so I go for the curtain wall, and I have a favorite here. It's a um, standard panel, 600 by 600 millimeters. I have two versions, one and two, or nothing and two, obviously. So this is OK, OK. So a magic wand this one so I can trace all the geometry so here it comes pretty neat and I can I can take a look at this part here it is I put it on the floor and then I could just I can do this uh, two four five zero millimeters so I have some space for MAP stuff uh, over here here you can see it's a panel system, it's a, what we call under ceiling, under roof in Swedish. Uh, basically there are very very few of these systems, so most of the users use the same. So it takes, well, three or four minutes to set up a favorite and then you can use it on almost all of your projects. Quite easy. So what happens here, in the 2D you get the full, this is a projection of, of the, the members, the steel profiles or whatever profiles you, you can you make your own custom profiles and panels so this is this is just the most basic basic thing uh, here is it's reflected and I could override and choose continuous lines or whatever I will measure this all those profiles I will put dimensions on it and therefore I, w I don't want to see uh, uh, the profiles in projection I just want to see the center lines so how do I do that? How do I do it? So I click the curtain wall system. I can do like this. And go in the settings and floor plan display, floor plan display here. I have two ways. This is I can choose symbolic with overhead. Move this one a little bit. Symbolic with overhead. And what happens? I will move that one. I get only the center lines of each profile. I could also, there's another way of doing this. Th this I can have one curtain wall with a symbolic view and one with a projected view. I can override all of them uh, in one <laughs> in one strike so to say and I do that of course in uh, model view options which is a graphical filtering tool basically I can use this schematic then I get this so that was it I just want to show you some about the, the dimensioning because you probably would like to dimension so I turn off some stuff to make a, to have a more clean drawing this will I will put this on a layout of course and I go I mark it, mark this under the ceiling and I go to document extras, automatic dimensioning, exterior dimensioning and here you, c you can you can work a little with the dimensioning settings remember that when I do the automatic dimensioning on, on whatever situation it takes the last dimension settings you had so if you have been doing some funky dimensioning with the uh, elevations or stuff you get those that representation so it's always a good idea to have some dimension favorites actually if you have all the dimension favorites for all the dimensioning situations you have it won't be that many actually so just a couple of minutes to set them up and then you're then you're flying with your dimensioning it's favorites are always really really good so I'm waiting a little while Here it is. Uh, you can try different settings here. This is normally for walls with openings such as windows or doors and stuff, and columns, and all the structures. And um, what happens is ARCHICAD helps you to put to um, kind of draw the dimensionings, and you can handle every everything that comes from this automatic dimensioning when it, when it's done, when it's out on the drawing 
or in the model you, you can handle them as unique just manual dimensions and you can cho change or extend or do whatever you want with them place dimensions on four sides yes so this I can just click a vector here and also where, where do I want my first line I want it here so here it goes here you get every uh, every center line dimensioned and like I said you can just click one and, and delete or, or whatever so this was a few um, well an example of how you could use the curtain wall tool it's actually you can find new ways of using it all the time it's very very flexible but when you come over the kind of basic uh, basic technique or methods then then you can find your own ways of using it it's a it's a very very smart tool thank you and good luck